What is up? I'm Moana Turtle and welcome to another Pokemon opening. Today we got two Burning Shadows ETVs. So we're going Charizard hunting, looking for that Rainbow Rare. Uh, last time we looked, I think these were going on the upwards of $2,600 plus dollars on eBay PSA 10. Um, I'm a little nervous because so I all the ETBs that I still have for openings and such were acquired to, through two big purchases, or two purchases, let's just say. Um, and the first one had a lot of print quality issues. And then the second one was a little bit better. So these are from the second one. And so hopefully there are no issues. And it's like whenever you get like a ultra rare or better, you know, there's a lot of edge wear for that one from the stuff from the first wave of ETBs that I acquired. So we'll take a look and hopefully, <laughs> hopefully we don't have those issues. All right, let's see. Oh, wait, I think I have some mail day stuff to go over. We'll do that after this first box. Eight packs. We don't need to show the what's inside. We got like the sleeves and stuff, of course. And make sure they didn't. Yep. All right, we got eight packs. Here we go. We're gonna jump right into it. Move my mouse. Gonna continue to change the opening setup, and it's just kind of becoming a little bit more streamlined. But if you have any thoughts or um, any feedback, let me know. And let's begin in our first opening. I think one thing I need to do is like, just have a, we have like a garbage can near, so I don't have like wrappers all over the place to clean up after the fact. And instead we can just uh, put them right into the wrappers and stuff in the trash right away. But for our first pack, we got a magic carpet. Is this the one? Uh, Shouts to Josh on Twitch. Um, runs this and expanded a 30 HP magic carp for the win. How often can you say stuff like that? And we got a big ugly fish to begin. All right, ETBs eight packs. You know this isn't this isn't your hidden fate set. <laughs> so uh, ratios. You know if we just get one ultra rare plus hit, that might be that's not out of the ordinary. It's that it can even get worse. So and uh, yeah, we're not really taking a break from hidden fates. Uh, it's more like. Uh, we, I want to do a live opening, try to do a live opening once a week and it kind of like pulled like the, the Twitch group or during our live stream Twitch and YouTube. Like, oh, right, what would you guys like to see? We got Burning Shadows, we got Hidden Fates and it's like, oh, Hidden Fates, of course, overwhelmingly. So I was like, all right, well, I still want to get that Rainbow Charizard, <laughs> try to get that PSA 10. Uh, so we'll do that for, you know, one of our non-live openings. And I do have a good number of Secret Rare Charizards, but looking at the quality, like 0% chance they'll fetch 10, so we'll gamble. Look for our next one. And uh, so, like, as far as the quality quality concerns, it hasn't been addressed. My guess is, like, the rares are on their own sheets, so then the ultra rares and, and etc. are on their own sheets. So, like, the fact that the rares have no issue doesn't really mean anything. But still looking for our first hit. Looking for our first like hollow. <laughs> Super scoop up Cedra, Duskull, Oddish, a Tynamo, Mudbray, Stuffle, Potown, and then a Lycan Rock. Hmm, not a very strong opening so far. Uh, let's see, do we have any announcements? Uh, so there has been someone somewhere this uh, get right let us know in the discord that someone opened up some darkness ablaze uh, English packs which does mean all right like uh, maybe that means that things are starting to be distributed and from the few vendors that said they'll ship product as soon as they can maybe that means we'll get it in the near future no idea obviously we're quite away quite a while or Still a ways from official release, but you never know. But that does mean that we can probably kick off our giveaway. We won't be able to send out any prizes, as it will be a Darkness of Blaze based giveaway. We won't be able to send the prizes until we get some, obviously, but uh, we've probably kicked it off. Maybe we'll do it this weekend. Stay, stay tuned for a giveaway video. And remind what we'll do. I want to do a Q&A, so I think on the video where you actually enter to win, uh, also if you have any questions, that'll probably be the best place to Put down what questions you have and we'll go, we'll have a quick Q&A video. That's our second Lycan Rock. All right, two packs left for the first pack, or first box. And um, let's just say like the base prize is a Darkness Ablaze booster box. 
if, uh, if you are international, we'll see if there's any vendors um, that are in your area or worst case scenario, we'll open up for you on the channel and send you all the good stuff. Let's see what else going on, but yeah, I'll, and depending on where the, again, where the winner is, uh, resides in the world and we'll, we'll probably give them a choice of, yeah, you could take the booster box or we can, op or we can send a handful of those double pack blisters. Uh, I'm not sure what the exact number is. Maybe it'll be like 20. So you get a choice of 36 Darkness of Blaze packs sealed all together. Or 20 Darkness of Blaze plus 20 Sword and Shield. I think as far as like cost. It's about the, it'll be the same to me. So I can do either one. Again, that's still be depending on where the winner lives. Alright, so first box was a complete dud. I'm just going to grab some cards to do a quick mail day. Alright, so as you can see, we have a handful of slabs, four PSA slabs, and then one raw card. We'll actually save this for the last, or to the for last reveal. And let's just pick a random one. We got a, so this is the Blackstar promos, the birds. I believe this was from the movie. Um, they kind of have all three of them, and like the art's kind of interlaced. So like the red, red background will be the Moltres and the blue. Uh, for Articuno, obviously, this is a PSA 10, kind of nice. I think I don't have all these in 10, so maybe we'll pick it up now. Got a felt like it was a pretty good price. I don't to know too much about historical pricing of this, uh, but for a card from 2000 PSA 10, um, we'll take it. What we got next? All right, so a lot of people ask me, oh, what is a good thing to buy into right now? I'm I am still like picking up base set two. I feel like the price point is pretty good. Um, I'm just basically picking like eights and nines. I don't really have many tens as far as like, oh, will it go up? This is one that for whatever reason, like it's it's vulnerable to price spikes or something. <laughs> you know, those price spikes don't apply to base set two. Maybe they never will. So as far as like increase in value, I, I have no idea, obviously, but it's been super slow. Uh, negligible uh, for a lot of the times and therefore still a good price point especially considering the age next we got oh, another base set too okay sometimes we go down as low as seven uh, but uh, I don't recall off the top of my head what I what I paid for this but I'm pretty sure it was a very like good price again considering the, the age um, you know maybe you can find base set two packs but you know they're probably weighed and stuff like that I feel like that's like what the um, well, those mystery boxes if you do get like a vintage thing lots sometimes it's base set two all right, we got one more PSA slab, and it is a Expedition Venusaur PSA Diet Reverse Foil. So for E Series, like I've been, most of my collection is actually reverses because it's so so much. Uh, it's way cheaper. Um, but uh, now we kind of have like I think we have all the reverses for PSA Nine. I have to double check. I'm not sure. Actually, I probably don't have the Charizard, but we definitely have the Blastoise. So very sweet pickup, and I do like that art. All right, and then we got one card remaining, the raw card. This is something that, actually, we'll just show it. This is a big addition to my collection. Uh, Condition-wise, this was uh, supposed to be light play. I, don't know, I feel like there's a good amount of uh, wear for light play, but I, I wouldn't argue it or anything like that with the vendor. And we have a base set first edition Venusaur. Um, so if, if you've been a part of our Discord for a while, I think at one point I shared that I had a Blastoise first edition PSA 8. Uh, here's our Venusaur, which we will get graded, and then there's only one left. I'm gonna leave it at that. Alright, second box, let's do this. So the first one was a complete dud. Nothing to show for it. And, you know, that's what I was kind of saying. Um, I feel like, I don't know if there's, I don't know if it's the average, but I feel like my perceived average is like one hit per box uh, which means sometimes you get just nothing all right, but we got another one contents are all jumbled around hopefully there's no issues with card quality and that first box gave us no hints whatsoever all right here we go box number two hopefully you don't get completely shut out that'll be a pretty big letdown so our next opening, we'll try, or I'm pretty sure we'll be able to do another live opening Friday, which uh, depending on when this goes out, might probably be tomorrow. And we'll do some more Hidden Fates. Again, that was overwhelmingly, maybe unanimously voted as far as what we should open. All right, let's see, Charmander, Metapod. 
Okay, we did not get shutouts, but we just, it is just a Machamp. Off-center Machamp. Oh, it's, this is sometimes it's confusing. Like, the back doesn't look too bad as far as centering goes. Let's see, do we have sleeves? Yes, we do. Here we go. Not the hit we were looking for, but uh, when the opening is going as this one is, we will take it. Alright, we still got some packs left. And uh, so if you haven't seen the market video we did this week, recommend you check it out. Everything is just continues to go up, up, and up. As a result, I think um, when it comes to purchase outside of like little things like base set 2, occasionally there's a big thing like that first edition base set, uh, but outside like base set 2, reverse E-series, exp reverse e stuff like that, um, probably just focus on Dust Noir. Focus on our getting our existing raw collection graded. Uh, probably send those in eh, a couple, every couple months or so. Send in a bulk order, maybe send in an express order, or I think express is like up to five hundred dollars in value. Excuse me, if you just heard me just hiccup. All right, so this box we did get our one hit. Man, I hope we get another one. This is not going well. A Ledian. Then the Azu Merrill. But once a reminder, so giveaway starting probably this weekend. Hopefully I can uh, get that done in time. Just since I may be away. But um, yeah, once again, that's to celebrate the fact that we got past 1,000 subs. So I want to spend a minute to thank you all for the support here on YouTube. And huge shout out to everyone that supports the channel in all the various ways shout out to everyone in the discord everyone on twitch especially big shout out to our subscribers and as well as those that support us on patreon we do have a patreon page and uh, you can kind of sign up for breaks if you are a vip patron last month for our hidden faith special 15 dollars a tin so if you've considered it reach out get your order in soon all right let's see electivire i believe that's like a rare i'm not sure if it's a hollow and then a heracross hmm i have to say this is opening oh, not going so hot all right let's see what else is going on these days pokemon go fest is this weekend i did buy a uh, which we'll call it pass and you do have to spend IRL money but you know I figured I very unlikely I'll ever travel once once IRL events can restart so this might be my only chance uh, to kind of like participate in one of the go fests so I figured I'd give it a shot see how it goes hope we get lots of shinies and whatnot all right two packs remaining for what has thus far been a pretty lackluster opening uh, actually, I think the I think I didn't notice any significant edgeware on the Machamp. So as far as so far, we haven't seen any negative, um, any terribly worn cards that are supposedly packed fresh. A Lediba. Oh, okay, we did get a full art, and eh, maybe this is a good good indication. This looks pretty good. Like the corners are not perfect. You know, if this was a Charizard. Unlikely it would get the 10 plus his centering is actually quite bad. You kind of look here these borders and then this one is like a thin line um, Not not too bad. I do like how they did the full art. I like the color contrast We will take it So yeah, this batch of ETB is not too bad print quality wise The uh, <laughs> How big the hits were a little bit left Left some to be desired, but uh, that's always the case, right? Or almost always the case. All right, here we go. Last pack. Definitely much stronger box for box two. And reminder, a live opening tomorrow, hopefully. Hope to see you guys there on Twitch and YouTube. A cutie fly. And then just a Mudsdale to wrap up this opening. So there you have it. Two more ETBs. A Burning Shadows open. No Charizards to show for it, but... Uh, yeah, we'll crack into some more hidden fates tomorrow. Hope you guys hope to see you guys there. Thanks for all the support on the channel. Uh, like, comment, and subscribe all down below. I'm Wanna Turtle, and I'll catch you guys next time.